<laughs> and this is in the same home. This is another Norwegian forest cat. <laughs> Sumi, Sumi. As you can see, she's very, very unhappy. So Sumi came from a similar situation, a pedigree type environment. She had been, um, apparently, she'd been sold and homed and then she'd come back to the breeder. So good breeders will actually take their animals back if they don't do well in their home. But what tends to happen is then the breeders end up with all sorts of mismatched animals that aren't going to make good pets. So the lady said she was going to take this, forest, this Norwegian forest cat on as well. Here she is when she arrived. The first time I saw her, her face literally sunk like this. She's really standoffish, really terrified. Now she had had, oh her story's really sad. So she'd had a baby, she'd had a pregnancy and she'd only had one baby and her baby had died. She then got an infection and because she was, uh, she was in a home with lots of other cats and they play, they're like dogs, they run around like lunatics together, big, big, big pussy cats. Um, and she had, she had to be isolated and in that time she got very depressed. I'm pretty sure you're already aware that our animals do suffer from things like depression and anxiety. And what we do to them in their environment and how we handle them can make a huge impact on their recovery. As you can see, the transition from uh, one slide to the other slide is tangible in her face. She is such an expressive girl. All we did with her was communicate with her and ask her what she was sad about, what we could do to help, what did she need? And her requests were, I need peace and quiet, I need space, and I need a place to go and hide that I can call my own. Through time, and uh, through allowing her to be heard, give her a voice and be heard, she built up her confidence. She learned that the other cats in the house were actually okay, that she was sad that her baby hadn't made it and that she wouldn't be able to have another baby. She, she felt that trauma like women feel that trauma when they have it. C-section, the same with our doggies. Now she is relaxed and happy. She's actually really demanding. And when you go to the house, she is the first cat on the scene. Who are you? What's going on? Why are you here? Come and see my toys. Come and see where I sleep. She's a really sociable girl. Again, just by listening to her needs, her wants, and responding to them in that environment. I've seen her three times in person, and she has blossomed from just having that, that bit of connection.